Two shades. Two chains. Two shades. We are back. One of us is only kind of back. Yeah. I'm like halfway. I'm, I'm here for the pod. I'm here for you, bro. Damn, bro. Feeling like awful. I popped some Advil before I came here. I got my energy drink going on. Dude, I'm I, wa- I want to get a girl that looks at you the way Senora looks at you. Dude, fucking wouldn't anybody want someone? The no, I want you to get a girl that sure, looks, sure. Like, I mean, looks me at too, you. Obviously. Oh, damn. Look at that, man. Damn, That's bro. love, Doug. That's like, what do you need? Damn, bro. <laughs> you get a wife like that? Imagine. Bro. Could you imagine? People do get that. No. Yeah, where? Yeah. What do you mean, where? Where does this You know happen? those fucking religious couples that you like shit on so many times? Which they ones? Get that. What do you mean, which one? The ones that you don't hang out with because you're not fucking religious. I thought like I actually knew these motherfuckers. <laughs> you don't you don't hang out with these people, so you. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. Never see it. Yo, man, what's new? I um. Got caught. I feel like this is what the fuck. Got milked. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to. I've been talking about it for a while. Get to your you, words together. But I wanted to actually. I mean, may as well bring it up while we're recording. It makes more sense. But I think we should go on hiatus. The hot on hiatus, the, the put put the pod itself on hiatus. We keep doing our thing. We keep meeting up, keep doing open mics, yeah. go out, record, have fun, get your, whatever, do all of that stuff. Yeah. But keep the pod on hiatus. And what I'm thinking, the two ideas that I had for us huh. was to basically double the pod, but basically split it. Because what I've noticed is that we basically have two main forms of natural content one is the funny shit where we talk about some outlandish shit where there's jokes with whatever and the stand-up adds to that right like it's it's all in the same area um we do wacky shit omegle you name it all, all like the funny wacky stuff Dude, that's the one voice is mint. thank you thank you oh, it's, it's, here, it's here for a few days and the second one that i've noticed is where we have more of these like sit down long form conversations we're yeah. talking about something, whether it's relationships, whether it's life, whatever. Right. And those are our two. Now, what I'm thinking, what I'm proposing here, and you don't have to say, obviously, you don't have to agree to this. You can tell me to fuck off. Um, when we split this, each one of us owns one of them. So the responsibility is on that person to kind of run that their perspective podcast in that sense. So, you know, if... If you're doing the one, like the funny one, well, then it's like you're, if you have full ownership over what gets posted, like you, if you decide to post, cool. If you don't, you don't, that's fine. Um, and then I, I would take the, the one that's more like introspective. And we both record it. We, we both record. We both support each other through these. Like we'll be like, yo, I need some content for this. Great. And then we like do the same thing on the other side. Um, and that's kind of what I've, what I've thought the last few weeks. What kind of content do you want to do? The one that I would like to do is the stuff that you've probably noticed that I naturally tend to, to lean towards. The longer form conversations, like more podcast kind of content where you're actually speaking about certain topics. Like like I said, whether it's relationships, whether it's life advice, whether it's uh, reflections on past experiences, whether it's learning, that uh, that kind of stuff. So uh, we're not going to do each other's pod? Well, we, we are. But, but, we'll but it's like I would own that one. You would own the funny one. Why does ownership have to do with Creative Cloud? Because... It puts more responsibility on that person to actually push that content, and that's something that I, for example, have not been doing the last while that we've like th- that we've done this podcast. Really, is that you've taken the brunt of the load on this, like all the social stuff, all like the posting and like the editing, and I, I don't think that's fair. If we're both going to be in this, I, I think that we should both take ownership in this, um, not just by name but effort. Right? It doesn't make sense for you what to do fucking ninety percent of the work and, and me just like sit here look pretty and give you like equipment sure but that's that's not fair either right and i think it also makes sense to start diverting our channels in, into like in, into the topics that they're actually talking about i think when you mix too much in it kind of gets uh it gets lost mm. right so i i it feels like a breakup dog no it's not not at all it feels like a breakup. we would basically be running just two podcasts in the studio essentially is what we would be in the same doing. studio yeah yeah give it some thought or like or change it up whatever let's do it but Let's do it. I think just going on hiatus in general, just like not having to worry about posting for a little bit while we figure that out, like what that next move is, I think would be good for us. But we don't stop anything. So like we still go, like I said, to the open mics. We still go out. We still do all the stuff that we've talked about. And worst case, we just have a fuck ton of content that when we're off hiatus, we just post. If nothing happens, if nothing changes, we don't decide to do any of this, then we just have a bunch of content that we can now post. The only pushback I have from this is um, I generally am lazy. Okay. 
and you are also lazy. Sure. And uh, when you get used to having, uh, you know, three weeks to yourself, doing an open mic, you know, a couple times a week or once a week or whatever, it, it only takes, what, like an hour out of your time. Doing a pod and that together, the thi- this is what I'm trying to say. If you don't exercise something, it goes away. I think... I don't know about the hiatus. As far as creativity... Oh, oh sure, sure, sure. As far as cre- creativity... <coughs> um, I think we can do something similar to that. It would still have to be like an umbrella channel. Yes. But it could be like definitely creativity. You could post whatever the fuck. Again, this is the thing. You were just, I'm not trying to shit on you. You were just, you just never did it from the very beginning. Even when you did it, you weren't really like down to do it. You know what I mean? So it's like, I never really like try to push that on you to be like, yo, come do this. You know what I mean? But like, I would want you to do it. You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. This is also another way of, of pushing myself to actually do this, yeah. right? Because that's the thing. Is that, Yeah, sure, as you mentioned, yeah, I never did and whatever. You just kind of got used to that. But why does, it have, why does that have to be the case, right? Why, why can't it be the case that... I 100% right? agree, and I think you should definitely do it. You should definitely try to start editing and different, using different kinds of software. And you'll see it's like, uh, unless you know animation, it's pretty pretty baseline yeah right yeah it's pretty baseline like uh, you know you get you know a few different kind of you know effects going and stuff like that but unless you're gonna get deep into animation or deep into um like synchronized effects yeah yeah where you're turning it into a movie and stuff like that you know um it's, it's kind of thing but uh, again you'll see as far as like you do it you learn how to do it i'm sure you know most of it but as, as much as you keep going you're going to see that there's a, a portion of it where you're like, fuck, should I spend five hours doing this yeah, for it yeah. to look yeah. 10% better <laughs> sure. or no? Yeah. Because most of it is like, honestly, a lot of just splicing and fucking moving things around. Yeah, it's not, yeah. there's not like a, like a skill to it really. Mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm. like timing of what you want to fucking do. Yeah. But yeah, I hundred percent support it. Um, I'd say I'd be hundred percent down as far as ownership. I think, I don't really want to touch that. I don't want to touch ownership. As far as creativity, mm. fucking go ahead, buddy. Like, you want to fucking be creative. As far as, uh, you know, if we got money coming in, you know the deal. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know the deal. And, you know, it is it is what it is. Um, <coughs> but, like, if you want to do some creative shit, you want to go fucking do whatever, I'm 100% down. I'm 100% supportive of you. Um, trying to do a different thing if it's, you know. Well, the thing is, these are already topics that we've basically just been doing for the no, last no, no. years. I'm just saying, right. like, as far as taking responsibility oh, yeah, and fucking yeah, yeah. doing it and yeah. learning it and shit, fuck. Bro, you're one of these guys, if you put your mind to it, you do good You do good analysis research on certain things mm. that you're down for. So, like, if you look this shit up, I'm sure within, you know, Two weeks, three weeks tops. Yeah, yeah. You'll get majority of what the fuck's going on. So it's it's not that it's not that difficult. But yeah, when do you want to start that? Uh, well, if you don't want to go on hiatus, then I think probably just start it in a couple of weeks or like, yeah, something like that. So what's the plan as far as well, like that's that's what the couple of weeks will be to just to figure out specifics, right? So like, what does that how look many like? Times yeah, like you know what the, what another channel name will be because you obviously funny but foul that makes sense for a comedy thing. That's that's fine. But I'd have to come up with a name for the other channel where that's a bit more related to what the, the content will be. Um, and then basically just start from there. Um, but as far as like advertisement, stuff like that, promotion, we should both promote both. Oh, 100%. It's going to be the yeah. same. Yeah. The only difference I see is you taking creative control and us splitting the sub- subjects. Yes. Yeah. That's, 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 that's all it, it is. That's, that's all, all it, is. it is. That's all it is. Um, the only reason I say ownership is just because that just implies more responsibility in terms of like doing the actual like admin yeah, work yeah, and like yeah, all, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. Which is something that I haven't been doing. Right. And that, that, that's the only reason I mention it. Yeah. But yeah, no, we, we can obviously discuss specifically later, but that's something that I, that I've been thinking about. I think would, uh, might help us push each other. I think too, actually. Oh dude, hundred percent. Right? And it's going to make you want to like go do stuff where you're like, fuck i'm tired or whatever the fuck and you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay i'm gonna get up and go do something i need exactly. content you know? exactly um hilarious what 
Well, uh, this week, I think for me, just been mad disappointing. You know what I mean? I think I've just been like mad disappointed. Oh, this just week. Enjoy, yeah. Just I've like, noticed you've, you've had a vibe this week. The last, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether it was from my thing to then like the, on the weekend, and yeah. This Are we gonna talk about your thing or no? We're gonna let it go. Oh, uh, well, I guess we can let it go. We don't have to. I don't. I want to get into like too too specifics because you know don't want people to like fucking. No, 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 no names. Yeah, yeah. But like, can we say the story? And then we'll say my story. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah. That's, we, that's yeah. Pretty sure, sure. We can get into it. Um, you go ahead. Okay, so keep it to like a minute, though. <laughs> it's hard, I know, but we still haven't transitioned to the fucking. I can actually keep it to like thirty seconds. Actually, okay, let's just, go. Like, just the highlights. Let's go highlights. All right, watch, watch. You meet this? No, let's no, go. No, a watch. Minute. Ready? Let's Ready? Go no, a no, minute. I, 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 thirty seconds. Okay, a minute, minute, minute. Okay, minute. okay. Because okay. there's a couple things. So, I was seeing somebody for about a month or so. Yep. Um, and things were going great. Right. And then we agreed that we we're going to be meeting each other. Um, at an event that we were both going to be at, she was being there for personal reasons. I was there for work reasons. I was like, "Hey, let's we can link up." Whatever. How many times did you guys go on dates? Quite a few, man. Like I actually lost count. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have a number. Six, in my head. seven, eight. Yeah, like yeah, around yeah. there. Because like you have dates and then you have like just meeting up and hanging Smash out. Smash numbers. Stuff. Two, three, four. Come on. Man. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. cool. Um, keep going. Keep going. And then uh, there were some like yellow flags that were coming up on yeah. the lead up to this. Things that I made note of, I was like, okay, but I was like, I'll keep an open mind. Like, let's see yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah. this is. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the long short of it is, during this event when we were together, things kind of b- were brought up and explained to me in a way where I was like, listen, I'm not comfortable with with how this shit is right now. Basically, X was still in the picture to a degree. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, I'm not, I'm not down for this either. Either this person goes away or or I'm going away. Ultimatum. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then she was like, well, fuck you, man. Basically, she's like, I'm not yeah. gonna cut somebody. For, that I've known for years for somebody that I've known for like a few weeks and I'm yeah, like yeah. I get that but unfortunately like that means we're done yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's basically it was she sad it was a minute uh, I think she was but she was in the she was in the airport at the time like leaving when yeah. we were having this conversation and I was I was in the hotel she, it was funny like, I remember realizing I was like fuck I could because my hotel was close enough I could have taken a shuttle and like seen her but I just in the moment I, I wasn't thinking I was just I was just texting her mad crazy and then we were just like going off so I don't know maybe Probably, but yeah, I don't know. Damn, bro. Damn. Just bad timing for her. Like, she's just yeah, like, definitely whore. not. Okay. Yeah. She's just definitely not ready for a relationship right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, right. For sure. And yeah, I don't yeah. think she realizes that is the biggest, the biggest thing. How did you like my joke about that? Uh, oh, you mean like the open mic joke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. I think there was something that I was like, fuck, it didn't. I think you said it differently on the set than you did when you talked to me about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think it would have hit better. If you did it the way you, you pitched it to me. What did I remember I say? I'm trying to remember now, man. It was something about All right, hit me back when you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me back right, when well. you know. Fuck. So my story's a little bit darker, bro. Yeah, definitely a little bit yeah, darker. Yeah, mine's darker. I met this girl. Um Do you want your sub? I wanna I want my vape, bro. What the fuck is that? Kind of an addict this guy's. Anyway, I met this girl at the club. And yeah, give me a minute here. Fuck. <laughs> I was a little bit over. I was like minute five. Yeah, sure. You were like a minute thirty. Not even close, bro. I, not not like you. I counted. Three minutes set. Five. Shut minutes. up, pussy. Five minutes. I was high. This guy had to get fucking. Anyways, shut up. I met this uh, Korean chick, and uh, I was very disappointed this weekend. I I uh, I met this chick, and she was uh, she was like all over me. She was saying like she was being really really friendly, and you know how Asians are hella energetic. Uh, when they go out, especially. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was like doing all this fucking iwi shit, yeah. and like she was, she was like Ooh. buying me drinks, and like she was doing all this stuff, and she was like coming. You know how like yeah. Koreans do that shit, that Korean K-pop stuff, that shit. Was she fob or was she local? No, she was local. Wait, she was fucking. Fuck? F- she came here when she was four. Anyway, we're spot, we're swapping spit. She starts grabbing my dick, all that good stuff, and then uh, you know we bounce. And uh, I like tell her I'm like yo, where do you want me to drop you off? She's like yo, at my uh, fiance's house. I'm like fiance's house. I'm like wait, what? I'm like what the fuck are you talking about? So I find out that this girl, she's she has like a fiance of three years, right? Fucking and uh, she's been trying to hit me up. We get into a huge argument. I have like a video of this. I'm like yo, like you can't be doing this, yeah, blah yeah, blah yeah. blah. Like this fucked up. What yeah, are you doing? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and she's like. She's all retarded because she had a couple of drinks and she's not making sense on the on the regular. So when she's drunk and she's even a whore, worse, even it's worse. even worse. Yeah. So we end up smashing. <laughs> and then I'm home like 45 minutes later. I drop this chick off. I'm home. 
and then I get a call from her, and it's a dude, and he's like, "Yo, my name is blah blah blah. Uh, why is your number on my phone?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Bro, how do you like?" <laughs> when you told I, me earlier, you told it really well. Really, yeah. like, this long second of your life, where you're just like, it's. It's a fucked up way because every time I even think about it, yeah. it gives me fucking creeps. Yeah. At this moment, I have to pick, okay, what do I want to do? Yeah. Because what I would want to do might not be the best <coughs> of how to go about it. Yeah. But I just chose last fucking second. I'm like, fuck it, man. I'm going to tell this guy. Exactly how I want to get told. I just told him. I was like, I, I, I broke down right there. I was like, listen, this girl was hitting me up. You know, I try to convince her to like not be this bad. I even have a fucking video. You know, we end up fucking like, I'm sorry, but like, I don't have loyalty to you. Like, I don't fucking know you. I yeah. wouldn't expect yeah. you to have loyalty to me in the same scenario. Anyway, we fucking, you know, we start talking and shit. And uh, I introduce him to my fucking... <laughs> family court lawyer how long were you guys talking for for like three hours Jesus. three and a half hours that's like a heart to heart you're like bro, bro let me just break it down to you i'm that kind of guy Fuck. i'm a gentleman's gentleman when it comes to this Fuck. shit well i right? mean you still smash but i still smash but you have to at that point right that that's <laughs> that that's what seals it because he's he's the type of guy that if i didn't smash oh true he'd still go back like, oh, it's a kiss whatever she fine. sucked his dick oh whatever she would use his fucking mouthwash it's like no dude she fucking gargled my balls too like you can't mouthwash Ugh. that it's over i've heard girls say that they consider a blowjob to be more intimate than actual sex well yeah because your mouth is so far yeah. away so you're like oh just the blood I'm like ah, someone would say that's even fucking worse actually especially after a long night of uh, armon armon working uh, <laughs> yummy korma sabzi bro disgust <laughs> it's a dish my mom makes down there yo uh. You ever have octopus and just leave it out in the sun? Bro, what? <laughs> octopus and cheese. Where do you even get octopus in fucking Tabriz, uh, bro? They yo. don't have water there. Where are you getting the octopus from? What are you from? talking about? Where's the water in Iran? It's northern fucking Tabriz. There's water. Do you actually guys, you guys have actual, like, beaches? Yeah. The fuck off. No way. Yeah, like, lakes and shit? Northern like Iran. Northern Iran. Northern There's Iran. fucking Shomal, dude. Holy, bro. That changes my whole perception of Iran. Thought y'all over guys a bunch of like. There's a sea over there. Relax. It's not that. It's not that serious. Oh fuck, bro! It's not that serious. <laughs> you guys got two. <laughs> Yo, it's not that serious. You guys got two. What's the first one? <laughs> this is the ca- oh the Caspian. Okay, okay. And this the guy one. thinks the Caspian is like the most sexy sea, bro. You know what I'm saying? Caspian Sea, dog. It's all dirty monkeys and down the there. The Persian Gulf. Damn, bro. Dog, we golfing, son. This is the opposite of Bolivia, where they they think that they have water and it's just a fucking lake. <laughs> Dude, we actually have water. I know. That's crazy. Come on. You didn't know about this? All right. Octopuses. I'm telling you, Iran has all Octopi. the climates. All the climates. Yeah. All the all the areas. Like, we have tropical areas. Yes, tropical? Where? Bro, northern Iran. Bro, that's crazy. Fuck with me. Do people, do people, actually, I guess now just traveling in general in Iran is kind of fucking crazy. But back in the day, people like tourism. Was that a big thing over there? Yeah, like be- before 79. Yeah, 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 yeah. But who's alive? <laughs> now that's. No, no, no. Alive back like, then. Now, now it's like, whatever. But uh, back then, dog, that's like eight. That's like fucking forty years ago, fifty years yeah, ago. Yeah, no, I know. That reminds. That's like Peru, actually. Peru's got all four. They got the jungle in the north because they bordered with Brazil, and then they got the desert in the south. Yeah, that's where people. If, have you ever seen videos of people uh, going like sand surfing? Mm. They do that down in the south. Damn. Yeah. And sand then surfing. <laughs> yeah, literally. They, there's like big, big sand dunes, and they have fucking surfboards, and they go down it. Now, do you think Epstein's Island is close or? No, that's on. Uh, that's on the other side. Where's the other side? That's like the other side of uh, fucking it's like Argentina, bro. That's where all the deviant shit happens. And the Nazis go there, fucking. Bro, I actually kind of want to go there. I've heard where go- I've heard good things. Argentina. I heard their chicks age bad. Though. I might go there this year. Check it out. Let I me might. know if it's worth like eight G's. Uh, I don't know about eight G's, but but that's pretty much what it usually costs when you go to a city when you go to a country like that. Uh, I don't know. I've never I never spent eight G's traveling any country, so I don't. How much? How much that. was Japan? Uh, that was cheap because we got lucky on the flights. Flights were only 500 bucks because it was some crazy deal. It was like two G's all in. Super cheap, bro. Dude, and you didn't spend anything there. That's, no, that, that's with us spending stuff there. Yeah, we, we don't like... Did you guys go eat out every day? We have to. We don't... Well, we're going to cook. Yeah, cook some cocks in your mouth. Ugh. Yeah, you eat out all... When I travel, I eat out all the time. I don't I don't cook. Now, who was the best cocksucker there? Uh, it was, it'll tie between me and my boy. You know the one. <laughs> We had experience in Thailand, so. 
Damn, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, bro. You and Emilio. Yeah, dog. Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Shit, dude. Damn, bro. That's uh, that's interesting. You know what's also interesting? It's um. Uh, where's the money going, dog? What do you mean? Where's all this money going? What do you mean this money? My money? I have a feeling. Or this money in general. That Zelensky is not the best guy. He's not the best guy. No, I think he's a purely evil guy. He's a destructive guy. I wouldn't go that far. You know what he said? What did he say? Remember when... uh, Can you stop doing that? That's fucking paranoia. (laughs) Why, bro? This is not going to... This is solid. No, it's not. It's solid, man. No, it's not. It's fucking Persian aluminum. This is (laughs) Persian aluminum. (laughs) That shit's dynamite, dog. (laughs) Just paint it. (laughs) Everything Persian is dynamite. Live on the podcast. Everything is flammable. Everything, everything you buy from a Persian guy, flammable, bro. bro. This is American made, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what they told you. <laughs> Check how they spell America. It's like with an E. With a K. America. 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 America with an H at the end. Jesus. Um, what was I saying here? Your back of your neck? No. no uh, Zelensky. Zelensky. Zelensky is, I, I have a feeling Zelensky is an evil guy. The, yeah, and so you're going to expand on that. My expansion on this is the same expansion on my cock, which is 7.25 inches. And that's Minus with three. No, plus seven. Uh, so we're at 10 inches. Anyway, um, China started backing up Russia yeah. and they did a treaty. Okay? OK, Zelensky said that if China backs up Russia in the war, just like America and oh, all, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. all the other fucking half of fruit cup G7 fucks are backing up. Ukraine, that World War Three is going to happen and a lot of people are going to die. Now, this has already happened. Mm. Why would you say that if your intentions are good? You want to kill all those people or what? I think it's really interesting to look at this situation. It's been going on for like well over a year now. Just to save Kiev like or whatever the fuck for the whole world to burn? Come on, bro. We pulled out of Iraq end of the day. We pulled out of fucking Afghanistan end of the day. But it wasn't a fucking World War Seven. Yeah, no, I know. That's literally right beside Russia that supposedly they've been trying to join NATO and like they're basically if if NATO accepts Russia uh Russia accepts Ukraine, that's immediate World War Three because they're so close to Russia that if they wanted to do anything they're yeah. fu- Russia's fucked. There's no early warning system when you're fucking the missiles are like 300 miles away. Nothing. What you can if do. China helps Russia? W- well, what do you mean helps Russia? It's the fact that you can't have missiles that close to to you, like your cities, like your base. Because early mean? early warning detection systems, all like your defenses, only work when you have amount an amount of time to defend against a thing. So if you can plant these fucking, if you can plant American bases essentially, which are NATO bases right up to the border with with russia russia's fucked so they can't let that happen that's why this whole thing really started where they're like yo fuck you guys for encroaching on our shit like you guys have had nato for how many years because you guys have always been in western europe so it's never been an issue for us because if you guys ever decided to do anything we would have enough time to defend and then like retaliate but now if you guys fucking plan up right up in our backyards that's an act of war essentially because you may as well just fucking keep going and come come into fucking moscow hmm. Right. And so that's really what where this whole thing starts. I, I kind of get it from the side of Ukraine where they're like, yo, we're scared of you guys because we have some like fucking separatists in our country that want to leave for Russia anyways. It's, it's creating uh, fucking issues in our country because you have a lot of people that don't want to go to Russia, but you have people who do. And this is an internal conflict. But we also kind of fucking Russian soldiers just walk into our country because we're a sovereign nation or yeah. so they say. So it's a tricky situation because you're like, if you just let Russia do what they want and expect that they're going to be fair. Or do you basically retaliate and be like, yo, like, no, don't don't come into our country. Like, if you guys want to do something, we'll figure it out. But don't be, like, launching troops and fucking missiles and all this other shit. I say Zelensky's got to leave. And then you got to get somebody more neutral. Yeah, I think that's... Sign a treaty that's with not, Russia. Not a bad option. Sign a treaty with Russia for no, no war for 500 years. And then just fucking live among us. I think Zelensky live among us. being absolutist is not has been not been working out right he's a fucking background dancer bro that's what he is this this whole all or nothing mentality is, is not good when you're dealing with a country as as dangerous as russia bro this guy's sitting in the white house on biden's lap and giving him fucking sugarcane dances bro 
I'm telling you, this house is going down. For every sure can that he puts up his ass, that's another fucking two bill. <laughs> it's, it's, al- it's also really strange to me that you keep hearing, because I, uh, I have the New York Times on my phone. I have it pinned, like any like, alert for the Russia and Ukraine. Any like big news will like show up. And every once in a while, you'll see some shit about, like, if this side does this, then we're going to do this. And that's been happening for fucking months where it's like, yo, if they do this, then 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 it's going to be like, oh, my God, like World War Three nuclear and none of all those things have happened. And yet there hasn't been some like big retaliation. So I don't yeah. fucking know what they like, I think the latest one was that Russia said that if Ukraine accepted some like American helicopters or some fucking weird shit, then, then it would be like an act of, or some like, act of aggression. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, you guys are all just posturing at this point. Yeah. But I don't know what the fucking end game is. If I did, I wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be sitting in like the Pentagon or something. Yo, what if you found out that the girl that you love and you married, mm. she's got a fake ass. She's got a BBL. When am I finding this out? You're like uh, two, how deep two, in the relationship? Two, two years in the relationship. Bro. So you're telling me I've been grabbing that ass for two years and I Just didn't retarded. know. And I, mean, I didn't know for two years. Listen to me. Listen to me. You say that this would not happen to you, but after you acted with that chick, I would you would walk around saying that's my girl. I would not doubt if this happens to you. <laughs> Bro, just because I just because I feel doesn't mean like I don't have hands. <laughs> like, what yeah, are you, yeah, what are you yeah, about yeah, here? yeah. Kind of reach. Love is it? blind to the sensory with you, bro. You go deaf. <laughs> nah, dog. First <laughs> you of all, you, exa- you tend to exaggerate. No I've, shit, it's oh, comedic effect. You, you fuck. have like I don't get this, man. You know, I support your creativity. You shut mine down. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> 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 fuck you. Oh, see, I can't even. Oh. <laughs> see that shit? That's God fucking just no, gargling that's, his that's, nuts. That's the laryngitis, my boy. No, man. You call it laryngitis, I call it Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There you Fuck. go. The other thing that reminded me off of what you were saying earlier, and this was like like the thing you went through recently, like on the weekend, mm. is how do you think you can be your best when it comes to those situations where you still believe in people enough to enjoy what you're doing with them without being super cynical. Cause it's hard out there. You don't want to be cynical for everybody. Cause you don't a lot. You won't give yourself the chance to enjoy people's company. If you're just constantly being cynical, you know what I mean? Like we even kind of touched about on that earlier where you're like, yo, if I thought that all Asians were like this, it would just be hopeless. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you get to an age where there's like you have these hungers in life and, and as you age, you kind of uh, defeat these hungers that mm. you have. And uh, you get to a point where you got one main hunger and that's somebody you can trust that can mm. be your partner. Yeah. So you got to keep that open unless you want to truly be a broken man, because if you have no hope of reaper, if, if you have no hope of like procreating. Yeah. Your kind of life path is going to be a joke, really. Mm-hmm, what mm-hmm. do you have to live to? Money yeah. value? Like, yeah, yeah. You have no family. You have no legacy. It's like, what does that matter? Right? So I think you got to keep that open because if you don't, that's what's it mean? That's the reaper, son. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah, the yeah, reaper. Yeah. Once yeah. you start thinking that, oh, shit, like, you know, can't I can't trust any of these hoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, Every girl is a hoe. If you start thinking like that, it's over. You're dooming yourself. When you're red pilling, you got to be careful because some guys are okay living in that cynical mindset. Yeah. They're functional. <clears throat> I, right. I would consider myself a, a, ma- a mostly s- functional cynic. Kay. Mostly. When I'm cynical, I'm pretty functional. All right. But I wouldn't say that is healthy for everybody. Hmm. And I don't think everybody can do it and it's good for them like some people can't handle that and then their lifestyle just won't be good so it's like what are you doing then why I, are you trying to feel like that I, I feel that but it helps me focus like no if I, got, I, I, I get if that. I got things on the go which i in the last five six years i've had things on the go you know this mm. i had to do certain things mm. like a task list every day and when i do those things i'm productive mm. right aside you know the this one hunger yeah right that to me is functional and productive versus like most people on average, they don't do shit. So it's like, it's different for them. I, f- I feel that earlier when you mentioned the whole, and this is when we were on the phone and you're like, everybody needs that one friend who's like, yo man, like 
the fuck you doing? And just tells it to you straight or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you were, you're that for me, right? Like you're one of those guys where you'll be oh, like, Oh, for sure. Like, bro, what the fuck you, you maybe, maybe you go a bit too far sometimes. Oh, <laughs> you just, all the whatever. time. But like I said, it was that analogy I that I made earlier. Home, though. That was an analogy where I made earlier where I was like, it comes from a good place, but just somewhere in there it gets diverted and comes out as shit sometimes where yeah, it's like, yeah comes out the wrong pipe and it's some bullshit and then it comes out the right pipe and it's it's, it's some like good wisdom fire yeah, exactly um i think the flip side to that is actually true as well um where you you need people in your life that are gonna like give you a bit of idealism and optimism too yeah yeah, yeah. pull you out of that cynicism yeah, and that, yeah, and that yeah. darkness right yeah um because if you're there you can't be there for long I'm, yeah i promise you guys if anybody hears this ever understand this if you're lo- lonely for too long, nobody's just a bad person. Yeah. People are just too lonely for too long and are too unhappy. That's why these sh- school shooters happen. <laughs> everything. Yeah. Uh, rape. Everything. Criminal activities. People are just getting destroyed mentally on a daily basis for too long. And then they turn into these people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's out of hunger. Right? So it's like, y- you know, we gotta, you, you got to kind of change that, man. You can't, you can't stay in that. That's, yeah. But it's no you, good for nobody. You sometimes need people in your life to help you do that. Oh, and, for sure. And and that's that's what I try and be for you at times, right? There are times where I'm like, yo, man, let's like, <laughs> let's chill out here. Let's, let's be a bit more optimistic. And sometimes, it's it's I also do too much. Where you're like, yo, bro, like, what what the fuck? Like, let's let's keep it real, right? Like, it's not all whatever. Um, but I, I think a nice balance of that is is always needing you need different people in your life for that kind of thing. Reminds me of I was watching, <laughs> I was rewatching a movie earlier that. Re- basically reminded of our relationship where there was uh it was like basically you watch x-men yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i was watching x-men first class earlier because i was fucking feeling like absolute dog shit and you have magneto mm. and you got professor x you're professor x i'm, I'm professor magneto. X, you are a hundred percent dog you you a motherfucker in it a was, wheelchair <laughs> yeah well no well, that, the, what, what's sad about that actually is the reason he's in a wheelchair was because of magneto <laughs> <laughs> but it was a total accident right because they were they were brothers when they first started out because when they first started out, Professor X was just like idealistic dude. He was like, "We're gonna show that you know mutants aren't that bad, and like the humans will respect us, and they'll they're not gonna be scared of us, and like we'll blow all this idealistic nonsense." And then Magneto was on the side of like, "Yo, listen, I gotta kill this motherfucker because he killed my mom like 50 years ago. So I'm gonna hunt him down. I'm gonna kill him, and then I'm gonna start the new age where the mutants will be the predominant like uh, new race. Like yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna." Fuck working with the humans. We're going to show them that we're stronger than them. And if they don't like it, they can fuck off. And they they were brothers at the beginning because they came together at a time where Magneto needed help to get done what he needed done. Yeah. And Professor X was like, yo, bro, like, we need you as well. Like, you're strong. We, we need you to help us fight like fight the good fight. And then they came down to a point where their, uh, their, I- their ideologies were a bit too far removed. And then they eventually, like, split. But when they were together... It was at such a cool like difference, right? Because yet Professor X was like super idealistic, super yeah. whatever, and he was he was helping Magneto, but Magneto was like, "Yo, man, sometimes you got to do the ne- like sometimes you got to sometimes you got to kill people." <laughs> you know what I mean? The scariest time. This reminds me of this one time I was tripping on acid, Damn, which bro. was the scariest time of my life. Okay, one time it was the the brownies. This time I never told you. This time is it recent? No. Okay. This is right out of prison. I was like six months out. Fresh right? out. I'm like looking at gigs. I'm trying to be blue collar. And the shit is grim. Oh, damn. It is shit. Like it's like bare bottom bones because you don't have any like real experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So trying to find jobs and shit. And it's. Uh, I took like five tabs of acid. Five tabs? Yeah. Jesus, dude. Sitting in Surprised my bed. Surprised you didn't get, like, ego death off that. No. Sitting in my bed for, like, the first hour and a half, just ripping ass. Okay? Jesus Christ. And then I'm in this, like, mystical, colorful world that I don't really recognize, like, my walls. Yeah. Anyway, I go to the mirror to look at myself, oh, right? No. I go to the mirror, and everything is normal. The guy that I'm looking at goes like this. What the fuck? And then I just freak the fuck out because I'm just like, how the fuck did my face do that? Do that because I'm not doing that. I'm just still. Yeah. Like to myself, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. feel how I am. Yeah. 
but it like my my Damn. reflection smiled back and that's what the relationship is it's like you're the normal one and then you're looking at me and i'm like the fucked up version of you <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i'm looking back like jesus all <coughs> nihilistic yeah shit. yeah yeah kill the world fucking and up. fucking murder these kids fuck dude <sighs> shit dude are you high am i high yeah why would i be high off second hand off second no hand. no no i'm good oh, okay um changing subjects completely I'll probably end off this yeah. just because whatever time um you got any cool projects you want to work on this year like side just like hobby side projects or whatever with you or no no just do you have any on your plate that you're thinking you're thinking about sort of yeah okay um do you, any, do, you, do you know anybody that has garage space? Me. To store a project car? Yeah. Do you know anybody else? A couple people. Okay. There's a there's a good deal that I found on a on a car that is like it's like a third of the price normal because like the engine's blown. I like to, I'd like to pick it up as like a project thing and work on it this year. What kind of car? It's a Honda Genesis. It's like a 2013. That's good. It's like for like five grand. Send me a pic. I'm yeah, so that's the thing. It's like normally like they go for like thirteen grand, twelve grand. Yeah, and sometimes higher. But it'd be cool just to have like I'd, I'd like to pick that up as a project. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Oh, by the way, hmm. after the pod, let me know. I got a couple of guys I can get your guys to call. My guys. Those guys with the resumes. Oh yeah, six, six, six. Appreciate that. Okay. All right, dude. You stick that Hyundai Genesis mm-hmm. in that ass. What was that thing you said earlier? <laughs> Two wrongs make a right. Two wrongs do make a right, Just bro. Just end it on that, dog. Two wrongs do make a right. <laughs>